Well, hi guys, We're back with another episode of the canal vlog. Last few sessions were pretty tough. This session I'm really excited about. Number one, because we're out perch fishing again, it's always exciting to get out there. Number two, I've got a very special guest who's already made a head start and cracking on with trying to find a few perch. Let's call him over. John? Hi. Come say hello. Here he is. <laughs> How are you doing, everyone? mate? All right, mate, you? Yes, good, 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 good to see on. you. You too, mate, you too. Yes, so we're back, just explaining, we're back with episode two of mm -hmm. the canal vlog. Which is obviously gonna be the best one. Uh, of course, mate. Yeah, yeah I've already said that. Like the, yeah. I, I struggled the first few sessions, <laughs> okay. just because you weren't with me, mate. That's, That's exactly it. <laughs> I brought reinforcements <laughs> today, and we, we, uh, we are definitely, yeah, we, we, hopefully we're gonna get some perch. It's yeah. a good day for fish. Every day is a good day for fishing. It's a good day for filming as well today, so. Yeah, it's a perfect day. Weather's risen a bit, temperature's up after a bit of a cold snap, so hopefully. We'll get a few. Definitely. You've been out yourself a few last been few out weeks. a few times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, had a good bit of success. Um, hopefully there's some bigger perch around here though, uh, than my neck of the woods, but yeah. Um, put in some normal tactics that I use, drop shots, some big creature baits and see, see how it works down this way. Um, I thought I was bad about the drop shot. You, you're straight in with it. I've still I'm got the straight in with the drop shot. I've still shot. got the same lure on. I, I ended the last <laughs> session with, no. uh, and I'm yeah. No, it's all about confidence for me, and a little drop shot with a UV spiky on it. It's uh, my go-to at the minute, without a doubt. So, got to stay with you confident. With never fished here before, so you got to be confident in what you're using to start. With. Absolutely, so that's, that's the game. Fish with what I know. If that doesn't work, then I'll start panicking and make up some crazy rigs and see if they work. That's it. Let's get cracking, mate. Let's yeah. get cracking. Let's get some fish. Go for it. Best I'll of luck. I'll do ooh, awkward handshake. Yes. Awkward handshake. Right, I'm going to catch a fish now. Yes. <laughs> right, I'm just going to move and leave him to it back there. We've got to catch one before him. Oh, see, I missed it now because I'm under pressure from the camera. Oh, man. I say it's ruined. The amount of videos you do should be. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a metallic bead on this one. Normally use a glass bead or a little magnetic one. And it just gives a bit of a click, especially in murky water. Just that extra bit of noise, I think, does something anyway. And if that doesn't work, I've got some of the new glass rattle beads as well, so we'll stick one of those in. Yeah. Brill. T-Rig. So what came first for you, mate? The carp, carp fishing or lure fishing or both? Or what's your earliest? Both, you know. Yeah, everything just... Well, the, er the earliest things for me were sitting on wicker seat boxes with my dad and my uncle, just float fishing. Yeah, yeah. But then as soon as the temperature dropped, we'd always be lure fishing or dead baiting. Oh, so so it's part we of... were very seasonable, yes, like seasonal yeah, anglers. Yeah. Like in the, in the spring, we'd be float fishing by the pads for tench. Yeah. In the summer, we'd be float fishing, not so much for the carp back then, but it was just anything, roach, silvers. And then as soon as the temperature dipped, it was always get the pike rods out. Yeah, definitely fishing with the seasons, isn't it? And it was, always, it was never perch, it was always pike. Pike first, yeah, yeah. It was always pike. So, so when, yeah, we always... Do you remember your first fish. proper perch fishing experience? Yeah, but it wasn't... The first proper perch I caught was on bait. Oh, that was a touch. I wasn't even paying attention then. It was on, it was on bait, it wasn't on lures, but just... just seeing it. It was probably only 12 ounces. Yeah, yeah. In reality, you know. But when you're used to catching little stunted wasps on maggots and then all of a sudden you get sort of a 12 ounce perch, 10, 12 ounce yeah. perch. That's a big, yeah, it's a big deal, isn't it? And that was it then. And then I didn't really lure fish for them just because of where we were fishing. Um, 
And then I remember, this is probably where the American in me starts, you know. I remember Dad bought me off, you know, like the, um, the shopping channels. Yeah. It used to be on late at night. Yes. There was like, a, it was like a bass fishing, creature style tube bait box. <laughs> and you got some of those with it. And it was just a weird, weird lure box. And that was my first, apart from like the standard big ass plugs and that's the old school stuff. That was my first real soft bait for perch. And I started using that and started catching a couple of little perch on it. I don't know how. And that was it then. And it was just, it's the old the tug is the drug, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It was just getting that bite when you stood there for 15 minutes and nothing's happened and all of a sudden your rod tip twitches and that bit of excitement. And that was it then. But it was always still waters, it was never canals or rivers. It was always just still waters. And you sort of just carried on lure fishing after yeah. that experience? Yeah. Dead baiting still as well. When I was yeah. younger it would be get the dead bait rods out and then cast around some plugs or some plastics or whatever and catch whatever while we're waiting. That's how it normally was. I didn't do very many specific lure sessions back then. It was always while we were dead baiting. But then when I started to get a bit more mobile, I was going to the lake on my own. That's when it really sort of started, if that makes sense. Just that freedom to do what I want. Yeah. And dad'd be like, oh no, we'll get the dead baits out. And I'd be like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna walk around Just with get, it. Yeah, it's more active, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And that's when it started. I'm thinking about a controversial lure colour change. To redhead spiky. Yeah, yeah. Just thinking. I've had many a memorable session with, with the redhead, mate. Spiky. I think countrywide the redhead spiky's got to be the number one canal lure in the country. Soft plastic wise. Yeah, yeah. Six centimetre redhead spiky. I'm just be oh, beating you here, Oh, mate. that's lovely, that is. Nice bit of uh, what something. What is it? Something off the side of a <laughs> canal barge. <laughs> it's lovely, that. Yeah, I'm going to put a redhead spiky on. I've, I've convinced myself now. I've talked myself into it. It's like a big hot chocolate. So we're giving that a go. On the old drop shot. Striking Thompson drop shot weight. A little redhead spiky, and then this is on the Street Fighter Finesse 190 1 to 8 gram 1000 Prism X and 8 pound braid. Yeah, that's the setup. Let's see if the redhead spiky does the work. Oh, oh no, I follow hook to skimmer. What? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Really sorry. Um, it can only happen. Oh, look at the colour on him though. He's, he's only lightly hooked in the. Well, I say lightly hooked, but in, in the dorsal. Oh, he's in the dorsal. That's. Um, yeah, no, no. That doesn't count, mate. No. Oh, what's this bow wave there? Yeah. Bigger than your foul hook, Bree. Oh, mate, this is going to be one of those days. No, it's not. No, no, it's not, Sam. What's in the bag? It's a poo bag. Oh, my lure's in the poo bag. Uh, uh, that's a hindsight moment. <laughs> I've just had a Bree. He just had a bag full of. <laughs> yeah, just gently. I was going to drop away, that on the mate. floor. <laughs> <laughs> don't stamp on it. Oh, the hooking, the hooking properties on that bag, though, were absolutely incredible, Sam. 
That was brilliant. That brilliant was in the side. People leaving ox lying around the place, I oh, hate God, it. No. Yeah, I've changed over again. That redhead was just far too much. What's your go-to lure for the canals, Sam? What I've got on at the minute. Yeah. It's, yeah, seven centimetre slick shad. I think it's just my go-to lure. Anywhere really. In a specific colour? Or any colour? I think if I had to sort of pick one that I would never leave home without and that would be the young perch. It's just got yeah, everything you're looking for really. There's something about perch pans isn't there, I agree. You just catch that mate. Whatever that is. No! Oh, I missed that one. Nice. So, prize capture that one. <laughs> Hi. What are you thinking, mate? What are you I'm thinking? thinking we just have to keep plugging away, mate. We do, don't I we? I think the lures are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I was thinking they should have changed, but no, we're I fishing, think... you know, you've got three different sort of stars going on. Yeah, and I think, as I said at the start, I think confidence is key. I think when it's slow, you could change a million times, couldn't you, and get the same result? Yeah. And I think you've got to stay with what you know works or the colours that you know work and just keep grinding it out. Now, there's no reason why your slick shad or my spiky won't catch a fish today. No, no. Yeah. There's no reason. The colours are right for the clarity. I do think when we get one bite though, or we catch the first fish, it's going to tell us all the information we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need that one, yeah, to get going. That was a pretty cast, mate. If ever there's a bite, it's there. Just where that trolley is. Just where that trolley is. <laughs> I say we scooch on down a bit. Yeah, mate, just cover that water. Yeah. Keep, keep going down. Keep scooching. Big. Yeah, come off that shelf as well. So mm. deep in that tall fish. There's a fish. Oh, mate. Ah. Oh. Well, oh. are you ready for this? Oh, mate, the reveal. It look, I like the colours. I've got on very it. big hands. Yeah. So it I'm, does. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming so in. So the size of my hands does sort of. Look at that. You know. How pretty is that? What on the drop say? shot? Yeah. Right, you still got the redhead on, or? No, I changed, no, back, changed over. back over, didn't you? Yeah, because of the clarity. What do they say? One for the future, don't they? That's what they say. Yeah. It's one for the future. Definitely guys. one for the future. Oh, you ready? <sighs> Off he goes. Oh, I wanted to get a still of that. Never mind. No! <laughs> 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 no, no joke. <laughs> I'll catch another one now. Hang on. That's it now. I've got him. The zone. We He's know in the zone after. now. He's we... in the zone. That was, that was in the trench, that was as well. So that was, prob that was probably right in the middle of the trench. Did you actually feel the bite or did you think it was a leaf or something? I thought it was a rock at first, so I just held the tip dead still and didn't move. Then it started twitching a bit more. It was a very, very fine bite. It was like, it was like pulling the drop shot weight over a little tiny rock. It was, it was only a small perch, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good, mate, it's good that you found but that sort of tells me that they are in the trench. They're not up against the far bank. Yeah. Yeah, they're in that deeper water. They it? are in that deeper water. Yeah, it's just about here somewhere. A couple of taps on the rod tip and then just held it and then it tapped a bit more. 
That was rock. <laughs> there she is. I need to rehook that now, it's all janky, but yeah. UV perch, six centimetre spiky. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing complicated. Um, yeah, let's get some a bit bigger though, shall we, mate? Something a lot bigger. No, thank you. What? Well, well, John's casting to in to some reeds. Oh no, he's out now. He's alright. <sighs> Didn't even happen, mate. No. Mate. <laughs> I wanted it to bounce off the reed so it's closer. That that's what just happened no, then. It does look nice. It though, is though. very weedy though. Yeah, it's amazing. It's still that amount of weed left. So probably won't even die down that. But we've seen, in the distance, some fish topping. Where we're seeing signs of activity down a bit further. Just where them ducks are just going to go and yeah. crash the party. We will go and explore, I think. And that's the thing when, when in days like this, mate, isn't it? Just to Anything. look out for any sign. Yeah, I mean, one slight show can mean not, can mean everything can't it especially when the fish aren't telling us underwater where they yeah. are yeah if they all of a sudden decide to chase some fry or have a bit of a flurry you want to be on it Good yeah, exercise, if, <laughs> if i was gonna if i was gonna use one rod on a longer session um, I'd, I'd go with a three to fourteen. Yeah. As an as an all rounder for yeah, one definitely. session where I'm not I don't want to carry too much. I'll keep swapping things. Yeah. Yeah, it's that happy medium, isn't it? Yeah. It's light enough to fish light. Then if you want to put on a ten gram jig head and blast some shads around, you can still do it, can't you? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if if you're gonna go with a few, then it's, it just makes your life easier because everything's set up. You can just chop and change just yeah. by changing a rod. And you've already got your setup there and not only that as well but if you see a pike swirling and you've got a rod set up with either a twitch bait like a slick stick on it or something that you can cast to it immediately and try and maximize that opportunity then it's more chance of more fish isn't yeah. it yeah i think we were here weren't we? yeah it was about here yeah makes sense as well with all this yes yeah, yeah. let's uh, pick this apart then shall we Leaf litter up here as There's well loads, with these yeah, overhanging yeah. trees. Yeah. I thought you were over that little branch then. <laughs> yep. There we go. Go oh. on, mate. Go on. I promise there's some bigger fish around. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's just it's nice to get a few a few bites really. Just, just to... recording already? Yeah yeah, we're we're recording. Fishing it on a three gram bullet weight. Pretty little fish. Oh, Lovely little fish then. He's got a little one of his spikes is actually coming out of the, oh, the main what? part of the body. A bit different, isn't it? One to look out for for the future, mate. It's named fish now, this. Yeah. We call him Spike. This <laughs> as he's been caught on a spiky <laughs> shad. Oh, let's get him back in. Let's get him back in. I'll get it with this, mate, if it, Sure, I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Really catch me in slow more falling in, mate. Okay, got it. Oof. It's good that we're paying attention, isn't it, to what was going on? Yeah. It could have been just a. Well, that's it. I mean, a few of these smaller fish chasing. The you've fry. seen those fry in the distance. We've moved on to them. You've caught a perch. So that just completely proves the the methodology, doesn't it? Of keeping but, your eyes on the water. Yeah, that's it. A bit of watercraft, isn't it? Just. We've not had an easy start by any means to the day. No. There's something else to look out for now on that bridge. A man's just walked past and, and dumped a load of 
food in for the ducks. Okay. Oh, that felt like a better, better tap then when I'm I wasn't paying attention. I'm staying very still. Because I, <laughs> I can see your lure. Yeah, yeah, I can see my lure, <laughs> see if there's anything following. It did look like a, I mean, I could, I could have been on a little twig or something, but it felt like a pull. Could this be the zone? Oh, yeah, they're, they're in the... I just had a little tap off one as well. Here he is. Oh, no. Oh. No, 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 that was... Two things happened there. I definitely had a bite first. <laughs> and then it... I struck into it. It must have been a little perch and it just ended up in a snag. And then something else happened. Oh, God. Yeah. I think there's a little shoal here. There's, yeah, there's definitely something going on, isn't it? I mean, if we keep getting bites and not hooking them, then really small fish. If, but... I do it, if this happens again, I'm going to cut this spiky down to about. I've got micro. Mil. I've got the new micro. I've got mate. some in my bag as well. Here we go. No, yeah, it's, it's tiny fish, mate. Really tiny fish. But hopefully, where there's tiny fish, it just might be some half decent ones. I'm I'll... used to tiny perch, so that's <laughs> fine. You know what, I want to use my new neck clip. <laughs> In the new position. Oh, look at that. Nice. Right. So hold that in the net, mate, and we'll, yeah, we'll we try. Will. Oh, I've just missed a lovely little bite there. Oh, right. I've just... <laughs> it's game on. I've just seen him. I've, so they, there we go. They've just... There's a lot of weed here, look. There. Right, you and that's why I'm not. You see, all the all that weed is really close to the surface, like yeah, hard. yeah, oh yeah. There you go. So they they're right in front of that. Yeah, they are. So if you're not hooking them properly and you're running it past that weed, they. There we go. So we can sit in there for a minute. It's fine. Yeah, they're just there in that, literally in that right. weed. Right. Here we go then. Fun times ahead. So we finally got onto a little shoal. I don't want to jinx it, but you know, it's just, just it's that. good, it's, it's good fun, now. isn't You've it? I've jinxed it, jinxed it just talking it. about it. Right, less talking, just more, more doing. <laughs> oh, you missed it again. <laughs> Let's change the camera angle to my rod tip a little bit so you can see what I'm seeing. It's not exactly shallow on that part, There you so go. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, I could do this all day in this clear water. Look at it. There you go. Trim down the spiky. Catch the culprit. You can go in the net for a second with his mate. When there's a shoal like that, you don't want to disrupt him by putting the mate back in. You've done well this lad, while I've been, while I haven't been fishing. <laughs> yeah, Sam's been sorting a few bits out and then rigging up. A broken boiler. Uh -oh. Basically copy me, so now he's put the drop shot on. Um, you've probably seen on my GoPro, if Sam's used that footage, that I was using a six centimetre spikey and I ended up cutting it in half basically, so I was using a three centimetre spiky tail. Because they're all tail nipping. The amount of bites we've had here has been ridiculous, but they're all just, just snipping at the tail. So I just cut it in half. I have got the micros with me as well, but I'm being lazy. They're only here. Well, you switched over now, haven't you? Yeah, I've switched over now and put an actual micro on. And that's what was doing the bites. Just cutting that bait down a little bit, or using a much smaller bait has produced the goods. I mean, they're not massive fish, but it's great fun amazing sport and more importantly we know 
in the canal now where the fish are holding, well in this stretch anyway certainly where they're holding and they're holding that deeper trench in the middle around some weed. So that's great information for us and hopefully we can get a couple of bigger ones out maybe. So we're going to do some fantastic releases now of these epic perch and um, then crack on because I think the shoal's moved a foot, only 20 metres down. So we'll move on down there and catch more but we'll let these ones go straight away. Lovely little perch. <laughs> well, there's my answer whether it's worth putting in the um, creature bay. <laughs> oh, I'm getting taps there as well now. Yeah. I think this band of weed that runs up here, I think they're just... In and out of there, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. You well, came out a bit mate, fast was... then. He was after my lure then. Sorry, did I steal him off you? just saw like a bigger, brighter... Oh, mate, they're just massive. Whoa! Now that's a release. Right, I need to sort my life out a bit here. I've got, I don't know what's going on. But um, even though I've blatantly copied you with the style because that's, that's what's working, <laughs> I am trying to do my own thing in, for the, in terms of colour. Yeah, I think so it's... I've gone like opposite end, I've gone yeah, really got dark. Yeah, you got to. If there's two of you fishing, yeah. definitely switch it up because the bigger fish might want a different colour. I mean, I'm catching loads of wasps. Doesn't mean there ain't any big ones there. They might just either be beaten to it by the wasps or they don't want the colour. So you've got to... You've got to try different things, that's for certain. I think what we'll do is definitely just... try it up here. I think it's worthwhile moving and yeah, just yeah. fishing this just, cut just out here. That's it, yeah, head over towards that bridge. And then where that duck is up there is where a pike definitely smashed something on the surface. And, uh, well, probably about 20 minutes ago now, wasn't it? 10 minutes ago. Oh, that was a bite. Right in the middle. Hi oh, yeah. guys. How many fish you catch? Ooh. Loads, loads of little ones. One. Loads of no, little no, ones. Ten lots, of. lots. About ten, maybe something like that. You got another one there? I don't know. I think it's weed. Yeah. Fish. Oh, back. Go back. Yeah, yeah go yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll go back. Then Competition, you see. Release. See who's the best. Who's who's gonna catch more? He's winning. <laughs> He's winning. Yeah, yeah. How much you get? How many? Oh, two. Ten. Two, about ten. Ten. Oh, I don't know. probably half. Five. Yeah, five. Too much time talking. You see, not enough time fishing. <laughs> Like you're a professional or you're a job something? Yes. You're a professional? No, he is. Oh. I'm semi-pro. Are you? Definitely semi-pro today, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Not even that. <laughs> Barely pro. <laughs> micro perch micro pro. Per <laughs> I'm, you're the micro perch pro today. Do you, that should be a UK tournament, Micro Perch Pro. That'd be a good one for the UK. We should start Can that. Can you please click one two picture in my wife and me? In this oh, did you know picture? Mm. Charge yeah. for that sort of thing. Go on, you fish, mate. I'll take a photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where you want to go? go? If you stand by here, we'll get the nice canal. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. You'll get nice water, nice trees here just to. 
with the bridge as well, uh, right in the middle there. Ooh, what are we doing? He's got a look. There's no. You want this? No. Yeah, a simple game with guitar now. Where's the normal one? Uh, normal game, this one. Ah, see, look. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. If you move a little bit that way. That's it. This is this is what you call multitasking, mate. You watching? I'm watching. I, I might just have a cast at the, at, the, at the same time. Yeah, you check. You can send your invoice yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think yeah. this knows its hook yet, mate. Well, Pike. Look. He's got a <laughs> nice one there. One second, one second, one second. I've got it. One second, one second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You can't hold him buddy, I'll hold him like this, there you go. Don't want to drop him. No, no. Nice, nice one, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> one second. One second. <laughs> you got him? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Excellent man. <laughs> it's massive. Ah! Here you go. King of the canal. The, the lovely condition, aren't they, though, the fish here? Some little fish. Should we put him back? Yeah. Here he goes. He's definitely winning now, look. That's it. <laughs> He's the winner. He's the winner, Dad. He's definitely the winner. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Good fun. Can't find me magnet, it's gone. Oh, there if it is. If you don't mind, I can click one to picture with you. Yeah, yeah. He's your main man, though, look. He's the one who's catching everything. That's it. <laughs> you are amazing, guys. <laughs> no, cheers. Thank, nice you. You, mate. Thank you. Have a good day. Take care. Cheers. Alright, if you can't beat him and join him, I've gone bright with the uh, <laughs> micro spiky and the red wig. Seem to be after that brighter colour now, so. We've had a bit of fun. Took a few photos for random people. Snapchat. Always nice for Snapchat, yep. Yeah. Now back onto the serious business of micro perch fishing. No! You're in trouble <laughs> on a drop shot as well. You know that's buried in if it's a drop shot hook that's gone. It'll be fine. No! <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> What's happened, mate? Nothing, nothing at all, mate. I'm just going to have a rest down here for a minute. <laughs> just going to take the weight off my shoulders a bit, you know. Just going to have a little rest. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happened. Nothing to concern yourself with. <laughs> Nothing at all. God. You got your other rod, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could just throw it, but I need, to, I need to put a new drop shot on anyway, I need to re-rig it. Well, they're having it now, mate. What have you put on? What, what, what have you just done? So I've, I've changed again slightly. Oh, okay. The micro tiddler fast with a little tungsten drop shot weight just in the front of it there, just to impart a bit more action to it. So. It sinks a little bit quicker in that zone. And I've hooked it slightly different as well, so it just goes a little bit further back. Just nice and neat all together there. And I've gone with the uh, Wagasaki in the Micro Tiddler Fast. Ooh. Let's give that a go. It's the one, mate. Straight into the snag. Ow!
Do I want to try something a little bit different? Yes, I do. I think that pike scared them off. Might have. Yeah. That's what we're going with. Little mini cray. Oh! Yeah, oh. they're lovely on the drop shot. Oh. Perfect. It's a buy and half, that is. Oh, what was that snack? <laughs> it's about here somewhere in the middle. Just to the right of where I've cast. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I mean. No. <laughs> One snagged up. Oh man. That's a massive snag. It's probably a tree or a, probably a boat, mate. Right, so that's on the oh, Wagasaki Tiddler Fast with a little drop shot sinker. He's took that right in, not being shy there, look at that, whoop, boop. I think I'm winning. Look at all the bubbles. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, just drag it in, mate. I'm trying. Beautiful, beautiful little perch. Getting back. We're okay. You got it? No, the hook's straightened out. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Do you want to use this, mate, while I... No, it's fine. Are you good? See if there's any more closer in. Be interesting to see if me completely changing baits will make an impact. Not had a bite yet. Drop it in here, mate. <laughs> I'm cleaning up now. <laughs> With all of two fish. To certain spots, certain areas where creature baits will just clean up and... Oh, there you go. Nice. Yep, I'm in as well. It's a double hookup. Double hookup! It's hook a double up. hookup. Double! Oh, I think mine's. My, my. Bring him over, mate. Yeah. You go for a treble while I'm walking over to you. Oh, I know I'm all tangled up, but never mind. Yep. Here we go. This is what it's been all about today. If I hold mine closer. Yeah, you hold yours closer, mate, because yours is a. I'm gone. He's giving me issues right now. I hold mine closer like that. Looks bigger then, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it's been it's been it's good fun, mate. Good fun. We've got onto the shoal. Yeah, it's a big shoal. It seems to stretch a fair way, yeah. whether we're moving with it or this one's gone back. Oh, that was just a recent to... I'm gonna put mine back. Professionally. I've untangled my flop. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good fun, uh, working out what they wanted. I mean, we both started off sort of bigger. Oh. With bigger lures and sort of more power fishing style with the jigs. Quickly Tiny worked creature. out. Tiny creature. Yeah. The new micro is definitely uh, doing the job. The Wagasaki colour, you've got the new um, green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. I think. I'll put the correct colour on there now. It's just, my mind's baffled at the minute when when you start getting a few bites. Oh, that was another bite. It's all about the micros though, that's for certain. Yeah. It is good fun though. I mean, I'm still hoping we'll pull something decent out. Oh, like that. Yeah. That's a net job. Nice. That's a real net job. Oh, it's a real net job. That's a big fish that is. Good man. Yes. Yeah, that's a serious fish, that, mate. 
Nice, he's done it. Will you trust in the neck? You. You, you do it, mate, you do it. Go on, man! Yes. <laughs> I was just saying, it'd be nice to get a decent fish. It's a two, isn't it? Ooh, we'll I, weigh it. We'll measure we'll it. Weigh it. I, I've gone off weighing now. If, if you're still into your weighing, mate. Oh, well, I am a it's carp. It's a good fish. As well, it's a good mate. fish. It's you, don't a good fish. you don't measure carp, mate. It's a good, <laughs> you, start, you should start measuring carp, mate. Set a trend. No, it's a, it's a lovely It's close fish, to mate. two. It falls oh, like fat. a train. It's, it's fat, mate. I, I, mate, I was looking from a different angle. Well, screw you. I'm measuring it and weighing it. Measure it, weigh it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. What? So let me just zero this quickly while we're actually. And then, then that's done. It does, it stinks already. It does zero itself anyway, because it weighs nothing. Nice. Yeah, that was zero, so it actually weighed three ounces that bit. Lovely, mate. Oh, let me out. Um... There she is. A micro critter. Right, it's dumped them in here. It's stinky way sack. And we'll measure him afterwards as well. And the scale's turned off. Well, we know it was two ounces for the sling, so... Good fish. It's all right, yeah. Told you it was a two, or just under. So this, the bag's two ounces, so it's just under two pound in it. Mega fish though. Lovely, I didn't see how fat it was, mate. I did, looking down. <laughs> you ready, yeah. give her a measure. Nice long fish. Touch him. Thirty-six and a half. Nice, mate. Nice. Either way, it's lovely. Look how plump it is. Proper fat little, fat big perch. Fat big perch. Nice. Really nice. All right, rest him up, mate. Oh no, we'll we'll just get yep. some stills. Yep. Definitely. Boom. That'll Good do man. the job, mate. That'll do the job. Keep that mat here, mate, just in case there's yeah, a few more. Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it out of the way a second. <laughs> nice. Mega happy. You've seen the action on the old spikies so far on the drop shot. Made a change to the new micro critter and green pumpkin. That four casts in from the same sort of area that the smaller perch are coming from. Two ounces under two pound, uh, 37 was it? Yeah, about Something 37, like yeah, 36 and a half. Um, 36, 37. I'm not saying it was definitely the micro critter that gets the bigger fish, but well, here you go, here's a bigger change, fish. Mate. It was that change, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was the change, so. Absolutely over the moon with that. In the video, I literally said just before I got the bite, hopefully we can get a bigger fish, and then bam, this one smashes that little micro critter. What a cool fish. When you reached for the net, mate, I got well excited. And for yeah, I got a bit excited. I, I thought it was a pike to start with, then I saw it flanking in the clear water, and I was like, oh no, it's a perch. There we go. Mega, lovely. I mean, it's not a massive fish by any stretch, but it's nice. a two pound perch. I said to you that when you catch big fish, they're so nice anyway. Yeah. Look at it, it's just pristine, isn't Let's it? Look at him with his fin up there. Big black spot at the back of his fin. What an epic, epic creature. Nice one. So we'll slip him back and get that bait back in the water. Look at that. Off you go then, missus. Look at her go. Well done, mate. Yes! Nice. That's nice. what we needed, mate. Catch some more, catch some more. More biggies. I think that's, that soft tip action definitely has a place. Mate. He's in. I'm recording anyway, mate. He's in, he's in. Another nice one. Oh right. my gosh, that's a...
saw sort of smash something on the yeah. surface before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, just take your time with him, mate. Yeah. Got to be gentle because we are using fluoro. I've used a heavier fluoro exactly for this because I'm after perch, but you can't prevent it sometimes. But pike on drop shot, normally they're just hooked just in the nick. scissor. Yeah. And he is just hooked. Well done, mate. Well done. Do you want to bring us the mat over, mate? Oh, no, we're at... No, it's going to be okay. It's just in the scissor. As I said, literally just in the side of the mouth. Nice. Let's get him back. Get him back. Concentrate on what I really want. Another monster perch. And he's gone. Well. What he's a turn up. Good man. What a turn up for the box, eh? Nothing wrong with that. Let's go again. Your canal's loads better than my canal's. <laughs> You're welcome anytime, mate. Thanks, mate. Is it a thing where this micro crit is picking out the bigger fish? Ooh. There's a little one. Hey! <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think maybe, I mean, there's definitely an argument to say that smaller perch can't digest a crayfish, even if it's a small crayfish, just because of the shell, etc. Yeah, yeah. I think there's definitely an argument there. But I've still caught small perch on crayfish lures. But I think you are more inclined if there's bigger fish in the area. I think they will tend to bully the smaller fish out of the way, maybe, for them. He's going to the water, look. <laughs> I am catching, I'm just not recording my end because it's <laughs> much of the same thing, little perch, Let's which just, is great, it's good fun. I'm not going to poach your spot, I just want to test something a second. No, no, go for it, mate, go for it, yeah. If, if, if Let's just pull this, that's about where you were. I'm, I'm going to go on the other side just so I'm... I'm just interested to see if I pull this through your zone now. You've had two, two fish in two casts, was that? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. So let's just see if me pulling this through. We'll sort out a better fish. Micro perch. Oh, oh. What you got? <laughs> it's something. I haven't seen it yet. Oh! Big perch. Tell me. Yes, nice. Oh, look at that. That's well plump. Boop. Good man. How amazing is that? Not as big. Stunner though. Again yeah, on, on the stunner. On the micro critter. Micro critter again, mate. Getting very few bites off small perch, if any. Yeah, yeah. And so far since I put it on, I've caught that bigger perch, the pike. Yeah. And then this one. There's something in that, isn't there? Definitely. Definitely. There's something there. <laughs> Easy, son. So, second half decent perch. Interestingly, as we've mentioned a few times on the GoPros, I'm sure you've heard us talking already, on the micro critter again, along with the pike, the first decent perch, and this one, which is a little bit smaller, I think. I mean, it is a bit smaller, it's a bit shorter, but it's a bit fatter, but yeah, it's not as heavy. But still a really nice fish, and the colors are incredible in these perch, because the water's so clear. 
bright red fins, shades of greys. Oh, it's just an amazing, amazing looking fish. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, drop shot again, fish quite quickly. Bouncing the little micro critter across the bottom and they're just smashing them, absolutely smashing them. So very, very happy with this one. I think there might be another decent perch to come as well, hopefully. Hopefully Samim can get this next one. That'd be nice. But well, yeah. I'm, I'm well made up. We've had numbers of fish. We've, had, we've seen some good fish as well. Yeah. We've tried a few techniques that have clearly worked. Yeah. And we've figured yeah. them out. That's yeah. the main thing. Let's Fishing is a pair. Yeah. You can figure them out. You can do things together and make it work and figure out what's, um, what's going on with them. All right, let's get this yeah. one back. We'll get this one back in. Big old sail. There go on, we'll get it back. I'm actually not even going to bother weighing it, we're just going to get it back. And uh, watch it go. Down into the depths you go, my dear. Thank you. Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well done, mate. Loving it. More, please. More. Give more. me more. <laughs> Five pounder would be nice now. Oh, squirrel. Squirrel! Uh, five pounds would be nice now, but you know, I'm not being picky. No, no. Um, we'll yeah. Get something, I'm sure of it. Let's get it done. He snagged up. He snagged up his drop shot. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Right, if you chuck it in, mate, I will. I'll reel it in for you. Okay. Yeah, if you retrieve this, mate, you're going to catch one. That's the, yeah, that's the that's the only catch, isn't it? Now I've got to get one. Tip your rod down. Get me onto a good spot, mate. You ready? Yep. There's your spot, mate. Right there. <laughs> I'll net it from over here for you if you want. Right then mate, it's been bloody awesome really. It's been a wicked it session, hasn't has. it? Did a bit of searching first. Started off pretty hard and a bit, a bit, well we were struggling a bit weren't we to be honest, trying yeah. to find them. But I think we knew that as soon as we found them it would be. Yeah, yeah. With two of us fishing different tactics as well, it'd be a bit of game over for them, really. And that's how it's worked out. Yes. We found them yeah. and then we've just ripped them apart. We've caught loads of wasps, a couple of pike, a couple of decent perch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. made a few changes. You worked out what sort of. Yeah, we figured out what be... was going on and we sort of. I don't even know why I bought this rod with me, to be honest. It's just been all about this one, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's handy to have another setup with you anyway, just in case. But yeah, I mean, it's worked well. And that's what we took, sort of took a, take a couple of, you know, couple of minutes to talk about the rods really more than anything because they've played a big part in today's sort of antics yeah um, it's the street fighter range all three rods that we come out with have been street fighters yeah uh, I'll let you go through yours first and then... so I pretty much only use the street fighter rods actually this is almost all I use just the price of them the sensitivity everything about them I love I love the styling as well but the one I've used mostly today is the finesse 191 to 8 gram that's what I've had the drop shot on all day paired up with a little 1000 series prism and eight pound braid um, that's my go-to setup i use it for probably 90 percent of my perch fishing if i'm honest with you great rod really sensitive tip perfect for drop shot fishing but you can use it for jig fishing as well if you want to um, and i get on with it really really well really really like this little rod great rod and they tick a lot of boxes you know the street fighters i was using it in my last session the first episode of this vlog uh, I talked about the, the 3 to 14, which is my go-to all-round perch fishing rod. Yeah. You know, I, I, if, I, if I'm not going out with two rods, I just go out with the one and it's the 3 to 14. I can drop shot, I can jig, I'll pretty much do anything with yeah. it. Um, I get like you've caught your pike on the, uh, on, on the, on the smaller one, yeah, the, on the, the little 1 to 8. Um, which is great fun. Amazing fun. <laughs> it's just, like, fun. I, you know, I really enjoy it on the 3 to 14, so with that, you know, you catch the bigger fish, the bigger perch on, on the, uh, the more finesse rods. It's yeah. amazing. but. Yeah, the, the sort of softer tip action, 
really helps I think sometimes if you don't want something that's too fast. Yeah. And these are ideal, you know, for, for days when they're just nipping at the law. Um, they're not, you know, you don't want something that's going to pull the hook out straight away with that fast no, action. No, you want no. something a bit more forgiving. Yes. And so. again, when you're getting the better fish, you want something to, to cushion those lunges and those head shakes, especially for perch. You yeah, know, especially the, with those the bigger perch, perch are, the head shakes are just absolutely crazy. Yeah, especially for fishing finesse gear as well, like your drop shots or your micro jigs when you're using like size size four or six hooks and you've got a perch with a, a two pound perch with a goblet the size of they exactly. got when they're yeah, shaking yeah. the head. You need something that's going to Bait, but you would pull out of a lot of fish with a drop shot using this, I feel. So yeah. I'm bringing two with me. They're the two. And like. And that's the big difference with that as well. It's a shorter rod. Yeah. Uh, rather than yeah. normally, you know, the two, the 210. Yeah, it's a much What's shorter that rod. That's, that's a two. That's, yeah, it's a 200. So it's a slightly shorter rod, a bit more. That's what we called it, the perch poke. It's a bit more pokey. Yeah. Seven to 28. It just gives you that sort yeah. of more stepped up perch fishing. It's, great. it's a great rod for fishing rivers, actually. So if you're fishing snaggy rivers, if you're fishing a bit heavier, it's a great rod for that because you've got loads of backbone in it to control the fish and get out of the snags. But the tip's sensitive enough still if you're using those slightly bigger baits in rivers or, or even bigger baits on canals and lakes. It's, it's really good at controlling them very, very well. So, yeah. It's a work call, mate. But work is fishing, so work is fishing. We'll, we'll have to call that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're my two go-tos. Love them to bits. I've got a couple of the casting rods as well. They're great. The lighter casting rods, love them to bits. I just think the Street Fire range itself for the budget and for the for what it gives you in that package, it's it's just a great they're really really rod. good rods, aren't they? Yeah, and great for, fishing. You know, aesthetics as well as as performance. Oh yeah, they look lovely the too. They look the part. Yeah. But um, right, I think it's it's definitely it's been perch o'clock. It's been perch o'clock for, for a little while now, yes, but yeah. um, the plan is we'll, we'll head back now. It's not much day you know, daylight left. We'll, we'll start working our way back, stop onto a couple of spots yeah. that we caught from. We'll just see. I mean, if we catch anything, we'll put the cameras back on. If not, yeah, it's, it's been an amazing session. Oh, it's been a wicked session. Mm. I've enjoyed fishing somewhere completely new, somewhere with some prospects of some nice fish as well. It yeah. makes a change to my normal fishing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, thanks for having me, mate. It's been Anytime. absolutely it's been an amazing. Absolute but hopefully, before it ends, we will catch another decent fish. Fingers crossed. When we get back. But Let's if it. not, it's been amazing, mate. Loved thank it. Thank you, mate. It's been amazing. Nice um, and thank you for watching the video as well. Get ready for the next one. Canal vlog. Who knows what's going to happen in the next one? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so, on the way back home, one last. I was literally on the phone. I was on the other end of. <laughs> I was on the line, That's on the other line. and this, this thing came along when I had the, the critter in the hot olive, the micro critter, literally just dead still while I was talking, not even moving. Here we go. The hot olive in the micro critter. Yes. I think we'll end it there, definitely. That's the mega one. Get him, get her back. Without falling in, he's got a better angle. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Mouthful of canal well water. Done, mate. Nice yeah. one.